to 11 players. Yep, server's heating up here. Um, what we haven't seen, we've seen some good engineer with general roundup. Well, I would love to see some, um, you know, medics here and there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there hasn't been a single Uber attempt at all throughout the game. I mean, I know I did see a medic earlier on using the quick fix. Which, you know, for this map, actually, it's not a bad choice, I'd say. Especially if you are going to go with a scout. But, obviously, you know, we're seeing a lot more heavier classes. You know, you may as well, at the very least, go for a crit streak. Or even a vaccinator could work nicely if you're going up against, you know, a sentry or something. Oh, and speaking of the uh, scout gap. Oh, shot bandit. What a save. Um, <laughs> Matrix 007M tries capping and stab from, stab from the door. That was unfortunate. But Alpha Kenny there just picks it up and pretty much wins that for blue. Yeah, that, that scout window he was talking about, that was just coming to a close there. But yeah, I mean, okay. I mean, looks like Red's already got in there, but blue are it. Blue are up though. Seen here. The other thing I'm not seeing today, really, I'm not seeing much vent use, is mostly front door work today. Yeah, that's a very good point, actually. I, I saw earlier on, perhaps, uh, you know, a couple of attempts. Um, I can't quite remember who it was. Um, I have a feeling it was Notefather as a demo man, uh, jumping down from the vent into the intel room and, you know, basically just got obliterated by a sentry. And that was the last I saw of it. And that was, you know, what, two rounds ago now, so. Yeah, it's it's been kind of fairly obvious attacking, and it's just been working for anybody who goes for it, really. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing, though. Um, I've seen, like, one of the best players I've seen in this game is actually have an Uber Medic and a Heavy, and start the round, very start, run into the enemy vents and just stay there. Don't really do much, just pop out occasionally, blast anybody coming out of spawn, and just generally be annoying in that regard, and it slows the team up. Yeah, I mean, the, on, the only other way you could sort of uh, get any better than that would be uh, if you could somehow manage to get a, a good, you know, NG placement up in there, you know, get a teleport, and especially a dispenser as well, and that is going to be very deadly. And there we go, second cap for blue as well, while I said that. Yep, I mean, here's the thing, Red are getting that intel out a bit, but they're never quite out there. Although, whoa, e every there, oh, taken out by Kader. That's the problem with that crit juice there. I mean, you, you can run a little bit faster, but it's not worth it. Although, <laughs> with the Babyface Blaster, you go at insane light speed. Yeah, I mean, you're getting into the sort of, you know, speed there where even if a sniper hits your head properly, the server's just going to say no anyway. <laughs> Our server says, eh -eh. <laughs> <laughs> But here's the thing now. Red needs to get the defensive leg. Get defensive with this. Stop barricading up bits with sentries here and there and that will you know pretty much hold things up and they've got to try and start eking out those intels from blue team I mean we've seen as we've seen so, seen so far nobody's really put out serious Uber just yet I say just yet Momo's actually gone full Uber can he make it work though I mean this would be an excellent finish of their game if they do mm. uh, happy boomerang return I see that's a nice little sentry in that corner Prince were getting around you. Yeah, Blue have got this game dominated. Yeah, I mean, that was, to be honest, I feel like that was probably the one that won them the round last time around. Oh. Uh, very Sorry, similar. Man, incoming, there's a Uber coming to spawn. There goes Piers. Momo. He's looking good. They have the intel. Oof. Oh, yeah, Momo's out there. This is the, this is the final run. Here we go. But yeah, that's where that, that's where that Uber came in handy. Just survived long enough and beat up everybody in the room. And yeah, by the looks of it, it's pretty much done. There is no one on red about to try and bring that one back. That's pretty much finished. No, I think it's done. Although I think Momo here is going for glory and sitting on the corner there, not ending the match. Quick succession, and that would be that would be fantastic to see that happen. To be honest. Yeah, that would be. But I think Pierre's going to end this game anyway. Oh look, there's a scout, and he's going for the cap. <laughs> Although, you know, there's Psycho Hunter there, and the game has ended. Nice work there from Piers. Okay, round four. Um, okay, now, nice dominating game there from Red, although it could have ended a tad sooner. 
Yeah. Follow the rules of American football. No showboating. Yeah, serious showboating that although one thing I'm seeing here, Mr. Spy BBQ trying to get in there with that um medic, but just didn't really come off. I mean, I think Blue were, you know, on that. Wow, Alpha Kenny won there, gets all the crits he needs. Hard to say, I wouldn't keep paying attention to the... Oh, there's the scout window. And Nope Father is carrying that intel as Pyro. Where's that power jack? Where's the power jack? <laughs> I don't think it's a power jack. <laughs> Why does no one have a power jack these days? Come on, guys. It's like one of the best ones. I think a demo scout tried to get in there, got burnt by Nope Father. I have to say, he is winning best name on the server today. Nope, father. And I think he's going to be a quick, nice early cap there for blue. And there go the crits. Pierce there with magic crit bullets, killing everything in his path. <laughs> Psycho Hunter. Oh, okay. The rarely seen, much feared heavy cap. Also, you know you're failing as a team when the heavy starts capping against you. It's like, um, guys, you know we see the giant fat man with the briefcase run out of the base. The one who moves the slowest in the entire enemy team. To clarify as well, he's also got the, uh, you know, pretty princess heavy set <laughs> on as well at the same time. I mean, that just adds to the shame. And a golden Thomas lab. It's like, it's all the cutesiness wrapped into one. A shiny, fat, massive, heavy caps the intel. <laughs> and uh, oh god, dear, I think that Red are going for uh, yet another cap here. This is what happened to Red. I think they said all go on holiday or start a conga line somewhere. Just all the yes. Oh dear god, what happened to Red team? <laughs> this is the thing, we're not seeing people stuck in spawn. I think Pierce just at the top of the stairs is being a massive pain in the arse. I think they just drew all the attention, he just drew all the attention away. Okay, Red Intel's in the open, and nope, Happy Boomerang is sending that home. Yeah, I mean, that was a fairly nice save from um, Sharp Bandit, but managing to backstab Ampty as a pirate, but mm, short-lived success there. I mean, that's pretty much going to be cut. Well, hopefully, anytime soon. Oh, and Ampty's got it again. Yeah, that's over. And there it goes. That was quick. Um, one heavy cap in there as well. I mean, that was all kinds of wrong. Okay, round five. And yet we just had the team scramble, so hopefully we get a bit more of a balanced game out of this. Now, this is the thing. I mean, what happened red team last time? I don't know. They just literally pulled down their trousers, invited red, blue to the team to their crown jewels, and blue team just get a piece of punching them in them. <laughs> yeah, they just didn't do anything else. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is a Definitely a better uh, start off than last time round. At least Red have managed to pull themselves out into the mid room. Um, although, yeah, I mean, oh, saying that they've managed to at least pick up the first intel. Uh, and not, it's Shaggy. <laughs> there goes bouncing away with the intel. That's done. I mean, that, he is. He knows how to rocket jump. That the guy. And there's a second cap going on. This is not looking good. Immediate Alpha Kenny one does a sniper. Seriously, what is going on today? <laughs> I think people forgot they need to defend the intel. Right. Blue team, like, red team right now, was it, no, blue team, need to start defending their intel room. I mean, there's a queue there already. <laughs> <laughs> nope, father. <laughs> Tried to like build up some stuff in the room in front of everybody else, and oh, there it goes again. <laughs> Amty with the power jack. It's like at the post office. Capture number three, please. <laughs> yeah, this, this is. Wow, what happened? <laughs> uh, let's investigate the situation. What happened here? Well, there's a lot of electricity and sappage going on. Nobody in spawn. I just I think we were dazed and confused. But again, it's almost as if they just took all the elements of the of the other team, put them with the other bad team that couldn't do anything, and we have won a huge team of fail here. <laughs> that was even faster than last round. How did this happen? Okay, round six. Uh, and I'd like to remind you, please, please, if you don't hear the sound of my voice, please go to the main menu, go to the um, ear with the extra, which is the mute button, and select me and Alarm Copter from the list. That way you can shut us up at ease. 
It's the easiest way to do that, and we've had, I had to do tutorials on it to tell people how to do this. And in any case, we can't hear other thing anyway. You have to type the thing down in chat because we don't, we can't receive in, uh, incoming uh, mark from volume. Now, from the looks of it, okay, Alpha Kenny won there. Just takes out that scout. Okay, Red have actually now got some defenses going. Do blue though. Yeah, I mean, again, it's it's a vague stranglehold, but you know, Red have still got the the mid room to themselves. I mean, it's pretty much you know, just one scout. Yeah, Blizzard just toss them oh. around and what he wants. Look at that there, Momo just picks up the intel again. Nice stab there. Yeah, red team just broke into the animation long enough, and Momo's got the intel again. Will he cap it this time? Uh, no, nope, he's playing Battle Medic. <laughs> oh dear. Up oh, there he goes. Don't scramble, just play better. <laughs> if I was watching Naruto, the Rock Lee advice on how to be, be better at TF2, just play better. But look at this, uh, Red have got again, Stranglehold in this room. Spy what the fuck BBQ is just holding everybody off. I have to say, I really like j just the amount that Shaggy is going for just rocket jumping. I mean, personally, I really dig rocket jumping, and, you know, he's really making it work. That was pretty much, what, maybe a 15 second from one Intel room to the other, and, yeah, that was perfectly done. And look at this, though. look at Red team, they're just in there. I mean, um. <laughs> Artem is there, try to market garden peers. I mean, market gardening in Turbine? Can you do that? Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> aside from Shaggy, I'd say that this map is pretty much, you know, the anti-jump map. I mean, I think it's just Shaggy has somehow managed to uh, circumnavigate that restriction, but yeah, certainly not easy in the smaller rooms. Yeah, Shaggy's learned how to uh, rocket jump horizontally, you know, in that way, <laughs> across the ground, like a skipping zone on water. <laughs> Oh my god, that'd be amazing, a special, you know, uh, rocket that can actually rocket jump off water. Like, the limited application it would have would be amazing. Well, I mean, you can vaguely sort of skim across water if you have enough speed and hold down uh, the, whatever you have your jump button map to. It kind of works, but, yeah, I want a weapon like that as well, just because, you know, you've got the Neon Annihilator, that's basically a pointless weapon. You may as well have a pointless weapon for Soldier as well. Yeah, just saying, he did manage to market garden. We saw, I saw that as well. It was amazing. <laughs> just floated down with base jumper. I'm gonna get him. That's the thing. The base jumper is the new stealth um, soldier weapon now. If they, if they don't see you above, you can just float down and go. I'm having this guy. <laughs> I suppose in this in this uh, map as well, it kind of lends itself to you. You almost have the right amount of time to be able to pull off a market garden because. You know, you don't have the height, but then you've got, you know, reduced full speed, so it kind of works, whereas in the outdoorsy maps, it's kind of a pointless thing to have, so, yeah. In a weird way, it's nicely designed for this. And I think Red Team's won this game again. Uh, there's Ampty going for the rocket jumps, but he's, yeah, he's a little bit broken here and there, but he's making progress. But yeah, I mean, Blue's Intel room was just swarmed once more, no defense in there, and <laughs> I think this game is over. <laughs> Although I think Soldier is creeping up, he's pausing this as much as <laughs> he can. <laughs> and Alpha Kenny one being the troll trying to use the short circuit. I love those guys. And that's the <laughs> game right there.